let me tell you a story about a woman named Jamie Lawson, a blockbuster film actress and one of Hollywood's newest rising stars. She's graced film screens across the world and shared scenes with some of Hollywood's most talented actors. But before we knew her as Jamie Lawson, the movie star, she was Jamie Lawson from VCMI DC, a budding teenage artist with a heart to serve the house God placed her in. For years, she freely gave her time and talents to support the ministry by serving in our drama department, hosting acting workshops, and even co-writing our Christmas plays. After moving to New York to pursue her career in acting, from the outside looking in, her progress seemed to happen supernaturally. She seemingly went from church Christmas plays to red carpet Hollywood premieres overnight, one door opening after the next, one opportunity leading into another. But when success stories like this happen, rarely do we get to see the process that went into the progress. Today, Jamie's gonna give you an inside view of what her journey to great progress actually looked like behind the scenes. And you might be surprised at the unusual path God led her through. We hope Jamie's story encourages you that no matter what part of the journey to progress you're in, no matter what it looks like or feels like, if you trust, hear, and obey God, you will see great progress if you just keep going. Hello, VCMI family. Hello, ladies. I hope you are having a blessed day, being fed and blessed with the word at this conference. Um, I was asked to give a quick testimony, uh, so I won't be before you long. I won't take up too much of your time. Um, <clears throat> I remember last year, the, the word that was spoken over us was it was the year to level up, right? And then the apostles added on to that this year that it was the year of progression, progress with no limits, right? Oh, I was excited. I streamed that and I was charged. Like, oh yeah, that's right, right? Everything that I've been believing God for, everything that he's promised me, everything he's given me vision for, oh, this is the year, this is the time to move forward. And not just move forward, but to go crazy, right? When I hear progress with no limits, that means we about to go crazy, okay? So I was hyped, right? Uh, and, and I already had a vision of what that looked like, the kind of effort, the kind of blood, sweat, tears, grind, hustle, the kind of like, we gotta dig deep and go for it. <clears throat> and then God immediately sat me down and said, um, I'm gonna need you to rest. As a matter of fact, not only do I need you to rest, I'm gonna need you to ease up all the way. I'm gonna need you to take your foot off the gas and I'm gonna need you to let go let go of every single thing that you're believing me for, every single thing that I've given you promise to or that I've even placed in your hands, I now need you to let it go. Excuse me? <laughs> I'm sorry, God. Um, how does that work? Right, because I grew up in a society in which when you tell me it's the year of progression that it's time to move forward, well then, that looks a certain way. It don't look like me sitting back, chilling, resting up and letting go of everything that you've placed before me. I didn't understand it, but I still had to obey. Probably for the first time was I really putting into, into practice how to obey without understanding, which is true obedience in the first place. And so I began to go through the year, not understanding, but here we go. Letting this go, letting that go, surrendering, praying, believing. And we get about halfway through the year and things begin to break down. I don't know if, I'm sure some of y'all have felt that experience of things just breaking down. I mean, your mind, your spirit, your heart, your relationships, your circumstances, everything around you just seems to be breaking down. Your hope breaking down. And it's like, wait a minute, God, this don't seem to line up with what? the word that the apostle spoke over me. This don't line up with the words that Pastor Cynthia and, and Tyrone Marshall spoke over me. The Amos 913, blessings, blessings, blessings that was promised to me years ago. This don't seem to line up with nothing you said. Why is it breaking down? Why am I breaking down? This how you gonna do me? That's how I felt. And um, I kept reading my word. I kept praying, I kept trusting and I, I God gave me new revelation 
over the scriptures, you know, where Jesus is um, breaking the, the, the fish and the loaves to feed the multitude. And God, he showed me that when it's in my hands, when I break things, they crumble into nothing. But when I put it in God's hands, when he breaks, he multiplies. And I began to just feel like that was the word that I needed to have a new perspective and understanding that things weren't breaking down. God was doing a breaking, but not to hurt me, not to injure me, not to harm me, but to multiply so that it was more than enough, not just to feed me, but to feed everybody attached to me, to feed everybody attached to the promise, right? Because it's not just about me. There's somebody, there are multiple people attached to the promise and the vision that he's given me. And so I began to now see that, oh, my mind isn't breaking down. My spirit isn't breaking down. He's breaking things off of me so that there can be an overflow, an overflow for grace, for joy, for peace, for kindness, right? An overflow in my spirit. So that way when I come in contact to the situations and the circumstances necessary, that I have the grace for it, right? I began to then see the way in which multiplication was coming into my life and I began to understand just what the year of progress was really happening to be, right? It wasn't what I thought it would be in the year in which I did the least. As far as working, right, the way culture says to work, but I did a lot of internal work, a lot of progression internally, more than I've ever experienced before. I think people often want me to give a testimony about my career, right? And it's great, I'm doing great, but I'm more grateful and thankful to God for the internal, like, what he's brought me from, what he saved me from. He's shown me things that were deep in there that I had no idea I was dealing with. He made me face some of my crazy, made me face some of my insecurity, some of my doubt, some of my fears that I didn't even know I had. And this is the first time that I feel this whole, that I feel this secure in my identity. And so before anything else, that is what I'm most grateful for, right? Scripture says that Jesus became poor that we may become rich. Not in just finances, not in, in my career. No, rich in every area of my life. I can't sustain what y'all see outwardly. I feel it's just a mere, a mere reflection of what's happening internally. And none of that can be sustained without the word and without the, the, the inner work that he's doing, without the purification of my heart, the healing in my heart. As a result of the internal work God did with Jamie in that quiet season, preparing her foundation so that she could be sustained in the progress to come, her career soared to new heights. And I do mean soared. While she sat still in obedience, God was making major moves and directing her path. What she freely put into God's hands, like her time and talents that she gave as an offering to God, serving in our ministry and drama department, he multiplied exponentially. After graduating debt-free from Juilliard, which is a whole nother miraculous testimony in itself that we don't even have time to cover right now, Jamie first gained widespread recognition after starring in the Broadway play Four Colored Girls, where her performance garnered praise from top critics and attracted the attention of agents and casting directors worldwide. From there, she landed a role in her first movie as the leading actress in Farewell Amour, an independent film where she starred alongside blackish breakout star Marcus Scribner. The film was an official selection for the world-renowned Sundance Film Festival, and her performance was highly praised. So much so that it led to her booking her first major Hollywood role, and boy was it a great one. She was cast in one of the highest grossing film releases of 2021, the new Batman film, where she starred alongside Robert Pattinson as she portrayed the first female mayor of Gotham City a role she didn't even audition for. After that, she was cast in Showtime's limited series, The First Lady, where she starred alongside the Viola Davis. Yeah, that's right, how to get away with murder, snot dribbling, scene stealing from Denzel Washington, Viola Davis, the great. And get this, Jamie got to play a young Michelle Obama. But wait, there's more. 
you can go to any movie theater right now and see her starring alongside John Boyega and Viola Davis in The Woman King. Yeah, that's right. She's in The Woman King and she's a scene stealer, trading snarky lines back and forth with Boyega and Davis the Great. Oh, wait, she's got so much going on, I almost forgot. You can see her in two movies that are in theaters right now. She's also starring alongside the legendary Whoopi Goldberg in the newly released and critically acclaimed film, Till. Now, I hope you're not tired of hearing about Jamie's supernatural progress, cause it's only the beginning. But you should be getting excited with every blessing she receives because anything and everything God did and is doing for her, he will certainly do for you according to his good plan and purpose for your life if you will hear, obey, and simply come along with him. See, Jamie has been standing on Amos 9.13 since her days at Juilliard, and it reads, Yes, indeed, it won't be long now. Things are going to happen so fast your head will swim, one thing fast on the heels of the other. You won't be able to keep up. Everything will be happening at once and everywhere you look, blessings, blessings, blessings. In other words, at only age 25, Jamie is experiencing supernatural progress with no limits because she decided to go along with God. And guess what? God loves you just as much as he loves Jamie, just as much as he loved Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses. God loves you just as much as he loves Jesus. So how much more can you expect God's miraculous power to show up supernaturally in your life? Because as Jesus is, so are you in this world.